We all know of Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace, and then we know him from the TV show, so Star Wars Rebels, and then Star Wars The Clone Wars, and also he does show up in comics, and there is some really interesting information that shows up in comics, and you wouldn't know about this information unless you do read the comics. So in today's video, I will be going over something in a comic that you wouldn't know of unless you did read the comics. If you do go on to learn anything in this video, all I ask is you subscribe and turn on post notifications and leave a like on the video so I know you want to see more of these videos in the future. And with all of that being said, let's get into the comic and learning about information. Just a little information you should know before we do get into the video and learning about this is, this is set before The Phantom Menace, this is set maybe a few years before it or a few months before it, either way this is basically Maul on the lower levels of Coruscant and he has made this company or this kind of gang or cartel and they're called the Kytus Cartel and pretty much all they do is they just look for force sensitives on the lower grounds of Coruscant and then Maul pretty much just kills them, that's, that's literally it. The comic opens up on Coruscant at the lower levels and we get to see that someone from the Kytus cartel has confronted a smuggler and he's one of the most famous smugglers at the lower levels and he's called Zek Piero. I could be saying that wrong but either way there is a massive chase that then happens and basically Maul just says how he's somewhat force sensitive, he's a bit of force sensitivity in him and pretty much he's just hunting him down really and he's just seeing at the start of the comic how good he is with the force and how trained he is. Zek Piero and someone from the Kaidus cartel pretty much catch up and then they're sitting down and then Zek Piero then escapes and then he ends up shooting a load of people I assume from the Kaidus cartel. Eventually this is all revealed to be a test by Darth Maul just testing how good he is and how force sensitive he is. Now what's interesting about this is Zek Piero and the person he is with from the Kaidus cartel that is revealed to be Maul so then obviously Maul ends up saying it's been his first job working for the cartel but Maul eventually just ends up killing him and just stabbing him right through the chest with a massive sword piece or just a plane piece or something. And next we get to see Darth Maul and Sidious have met up and they're speaking and it is pretty much just saying that has Maul done anything to alert the Jedi to it being a Sith and being someone who is force sensitive but Maul ended up making it look like it was just a normal smuggler getting killed somehow by just putting something right through his chest. You couldn't tell it was by the force. Darth Maul and Sidious then travel to Malachor where pretty much it's a single last test where Sidious basically makes Maul smell in or just inhale the ashes of previous Sith on Malachor where there's a massive battle and this is where you get to see Maul as a Jedi and this is where pretty much the whole video is centered around. Now what's great about this is this is all canon, this is nothing to do with legends, this is canon so whenever you see Maul in any of the movies or even in the TV shows you get to know that Maul previously has seen himself on Malachor, he's been on Malachor, he's inhaled ashes from previous Sith and then he's seen his life as a Jedi where obviously he has a double bladed lightsaber but it's a blue one which we haven't seen since I believe the Old Republic in Legends. Then we get to see Maul goes up against this massive beast, I don't know the name of the beast or the species, honestly I'm just not really familiar, I don't know if this species shows up somewhere else, I could be wrong it's just I'm not really familiar with the species in Star Wars, that is my fault. Either way Maul eventually slays the beast and then has dinner with some family where Maul is pretty much just shown as this massive hero and this massive Jedi savior when in reality Maul is not a Jedi he is a Sith and then he eventually ends up slaying everyone at the table. And then we get to see Maul turn back to normal he has his regular double bladed lightsaber he has Sith eyes he's everything like normal and then he cuts out of the dream or the just reality pretty much. And he is greeted by Sidious pretty much asking him what have you learned and Maul responds back with just saying straight up rage, he has learned rage from it and that it is good for all of that to happen for the pretty much future which we obviously know is the movies and the TV shows. Now that would be the end of the comic, it was only a one issue comic, it was only like 20 pages long. Either way it was great, we get to know a lot of information from that alone, we get to see something I never expected to see in canon or even in Legends, something about Maul being a Jedi for even a brief moment. It was literally, he's probably a Jedi or even seeing as a Jedi for max 10 minutes which to me honestly it's still amazing to even picture the idea of it. Now for anyone wondering which comic it comes from, it comes from Age of Republic Villains I'm pretty sure, that is it came out around maybe 2017, 2018, either way it's definitely worth a read, it's probably one of the best canon comics I've ever read, even though it was only one issue, and at this current moment I'm diving way more into Legends content so I've already read pretty much 6 issues from something about Kiadi Mundi which I might do a video on, I'm not really too sure yet, maybe it's, I don't even know because I'm not a massive Ki Adi Mundi fan, I don't really think he's one of the best Jedi, but either way it depends if people want to see a video on that specific Jedi. 
Now that has been everything I was able to go over in the video, so if you did go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more in the future, consider subscribing and turning on post notifications to get notified every time I do upload a video. Also, leave a like on the video so I know you want more in the future as well. I'm not too sure exactly what my next video will be on, either way I will do a poll on the community tab so pay attention there, probably it will go on to legends in some degree because I just want to talk about legends really badly, I want to get into some amazing stories because I know there is some amazing stuff in there, but either way I will do a community post so just be on the lookout for that. And with all of that being said, I hope you have a great day and may the force be with you.